Hi guys, Barnaby for Spurred On, and this is a brand new show. Ooh. It is Smithy. Say hello, Smithy. Hello, Smithy. Versus Slats. That's me. My surname's Slater. My nickname's Slats. And every week we're going to come to you with a different challenge where we face off to see not only who's best, not only who knows more about Spurs, but in general, just who's a better human being out of the two of us. Smithy, what do you think about it? I feel very confident with that, mate. <laughs> no, I don't. There's uh, no evidence. Bring it on. There's no bring evidence on, to say. suggest that you are a better human being no, than me. Not. No, you're right. Uh, anyway, first episode today is a classic Tottenham Hotspur quiz where all the questions will be somehow relevant to this season. Are you feeling Ooh. confident? Yes. We have written five questions each, right? We have. It's a penalty shootout format. We've written five questions each, so I will be asking him my five questions. He'll be asking <laughs> At the end of it, if it's a draw, it goes to sudden death. Then, at the end of that, whoever wins will go 1-0 up in the league table that we will show you every week from oh, here graphics on as well. There'll be oh, graphics. I love graphics. We, don't, we spare no expense. No. I mean, okay. The only honest. thing I'll say with this is that it, a fair quiz would be us answering the same questions because I know that you're quite competitive. <laughs> so, we'll go with it. Hold on, the, hold on. I've what, heard the producer that your say, questions are harder than mine. That's all I'm saying. This is right. interesting. He's getting ex his excuses in early. Oh, but no, what I will that, say mate, is that we have had these questions, both sets, adjudicated by an independent adjudicator yes. who was uh, Adam Boltwood, the producer of the Football Republic, which if you don't uh, subscribe to, do on YouTube. Good link there. Very Plug, good. Yeah. Thank you very much. Anyway, so uh, because you're, you know, you're my guest, I will yeah. allow you to ask the first question. As I said, <laughs> Thanks, penalty shootout format, five questions each, winner takes all. Go for Let's it. Let's do it. Go for it, Smithy. Question one from my Spurs quiz, Slats. Which player wears the number 28 on their shirt? Hmm. Number 28. Is it Tom Carroll? Correct. Yes! Oh, Come on! <laughs> Quite excited about that. Oh god! Right? When you said, I'll tell you why. Because when you said like which player, I don't think I'm that great on squad numbers, but it came in. It came in. Okay, one nil wow, to slats. Pressure on me. One Go. nil to slats. <laughs> why are you laughing? Because I like this question. What is the name of Maurizio Pochettino's son who played for the Spurs under 15s this week? It's also Maurizio Pochettino, but spelt differently. That is correct. Come on! That is correct. Come on! It is spelled M A U R I Z I O. Maurizio Pochettino. I, I have to say, how I'm pretty proud that his son's playing Mate, in the brilliant. academy. Love that. I love that. And I bet he went to watch it as well, didn't he? Of course, because he probably watches all the academy yeah. games because he's across everything like Alex Ferguson was at Man United. Anyway, slightly more importantly or less importantly, depending on how you look at it, it is one all after, Come on. after Good. one question each. Good one round all. one. Right. One question two. Who scored our only goal when we beat Palace at home? You were at that game as well, so you should know that. Hung Min Son. Hung Min Son Correct. ran down the left, took it on his left foot, hit it. Good connection right, yeah, under we, the we keeper. Get the point. You got it right. Come on. Move <laughs> two on. 2-1. 2-1 yeah. to Slats. Here comes question two. This is a good one too, I think. Name five of the seven teams that we have done the double over in the Premier League this season. That is a great question, Name mate. five of the seven teams that we have done the double over so far this season and I'll going. tell you I'll tell you just uh, actually it won't make a difference because we've got Liverpool but we're filming this on the Friday before the Liverpool game but it won't make a difference because we drew them in yeah, the first game so anyway. relevant point but I know what you're saying uh, <laughs> thanks Smithy uh, Bournemouth is one of them that is correct hammered Bournemouth by the way if you want to say yep. Norwich is another one of them I think we beat Norwich with the same scoreline both home and away 3-0 is that a bonus point no, no, no. okay no, no bonus Bournemouth um, what did I just say Norwich, Norwich. Who have we done the double over this season? Wow, just realised the other team is Manchester City. Correct. Come Manchester on, you City. Spurs. Um, should be Arsenal, but unfortunately, both were draws. But how that's not a double, I don't know. Gutted about that. Uh, we should have beaten both of them. Playing for we? time, by Playing the sound of it. Uh, who have I said? Man City, Norwich, sorry, Bournemouth. Yeah. Uh, two others will be... Uh, blah, 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 blah. We'll put a um, clock on this. We'll put a clock on this. Uh, Crystal Palace. Crystal Palace, R1. And the other one I will go with... Uh, because I was at that game. <laughs> Sunderland. Sunderland is correct. He has got five of the seven. The answer is Villa, Sunderland, Norwich, Palace, Watford, Bournemouth, Manchester City. Two each. Well done, Smithy. Good. You did well there. Thanks, it mate. took you about three hours, but yeah, we got there. Down. Well uh, number three. Who is our first team coach? Oh, God. Can, can, is surname enough? No. What? Usually in any quiz, like Mastermind, surname is enough. This isn't Mastermind. 
This is annoying because any uh, I'm pretty sure any other manager and coach I knew it all. I remember mm. Ricardo Monitz from when he was uh, no. our skills coach yeah. with Martin Yoll. But that's not the question, so irrelevant that you know that one. <laughs> is his <laughs> is his name Perez? Is that, that is sad. That's incorrect. Uh, <laughs> that is our assistant manager is Jesus Perez. Our first team coach is Miguel D'Agostino. Miguel D'Agostino, I've, I've missed you, the pen. You, you, you do know. I've you missed, do the, know. Pen. So I've what missed the pen. So it's, it's two all, but it's your question. Okay. Okay, here we go. During the Crystal Palace game. Which one? During the Crystal Palace away game. Yeah, remember it well. Whose elbow felled Jan Vertonghen a fall during which he injured his knee, keeping him out for three months? Oh, yes, I remember it really well as well. <clears throat> I mean... A hard question because it's not technically a Spurs. It's relevant that... to Spurs seasons big times. Oh. Vertonghen's been oh, out well, for three months because of this elbow. Who was the fourth when we played Bournemouth then? Uh, no, I do know this. You I don't, don't know, know the answer to that, so you can't <laughs> ask that. I no idea. Um, I do know this. It, oh, who was it? Please get it wrong. It was one of two. I'm one behind. I'm one behind. No, no I'm aware of the score. Well, I'm not one behind. But I remember it well because it was quite an innocuous. It was more how he landed. So I remember it was from a corner. He got elbowed in the face. I remember vividly with his knee. It's not. It wasn't him. That's the thing. Gonna have to hurry. Was it Scott Dan? No! Come on! I know it is as well. Go on, it was me. Connor Wickham. I knew that as well. <laughs> Sweet. So Your question. So it's two all after three each. Okay. Uh, I've missed these questions here. Way more competitive than I thought right. I'd be at this. Because he, he, you're better than I thought you'd be. I thought, well, I thought I'd have won by now. Thanks. Uh, yeah. We, I'd like to say we both do have a very, I'd like to say, incredible knowledge of Tottenham. It's all either of us talk about. So Except this I don't know who the assistant manager uh, is. <laughs> yeah, exactly that, yeah. Uh, what... Was our first, our first, sorry, I'll start, I'll start again. <laughs> Beep. Our first Europa League match was at home to Korobag this season. What was the score? Nice, easy one, that really. I think they're called Karabag. Uh -huh. um, so, I was at this game. I remember we went, Massive advantage. we went 1 0 down. So, I know it was, I think we won 3 1. Correct. That is, I mean, Let's be honest, my questions are slightly easier than yours. Oh, Who else knows Jan Vertonghen? You tell me in the comment section below. Are oh, my questions harder than his? Right. Okay, so it is 3 2 to me currently. Is this that right? Is question four, 3 yeah? 2, question yeah. 4. Who did we sign the legend that is Eric Dyer from? That's pretty easy. Oh! That is pretty easy. Yeah, it is. It's one of the two. <laughs> uh, what, just like Scott Dan was one of the two? Things like, you know when you know something so much, but you don't want to get it Who wrong? Who did we sign yeah, the no, legend the that is Eric Dyer from? Just, just for the audience, mate. it's not all about you. Uh, it was Benfica. No! Sporting Lisbon. Lisbon! I knew it was one oh, of the two. Slats wow. can win it. Slats can wow. win it with this. You know that I said Sporting Lisbon or Benfica? I knew it was one of the two. He step, Slats oh, steps up. Of course it was Sporting Lisbon. Slats steps up for the last penalty. Do you know what with that is that... No, I'm going to sound like an That was easy. Know you know that was easy. That was a good, easy question, yeah. Um, right, you ready? Mm, am I? What squad number does Josh Onoma wear? I told you I was not good at squad numbers. <laughs> you got the last one right. You've stitched me here, big time. See, weirdly, I, I know this, yet that's a harder question than the, sport, the Sporting Lisbon one. Bizarre. Yeah. We're going to have to push you because this is an unbelievable amount of time you're spending on this answer. So we'll put a clock on it and we'll speed it up. Don't worry about it. Uh, this is going to be like an absolute guess. So you said Tom Cowell was 28. God, how long has he won? I, honestly, I don't know this at all. Um, Ericsson, 23, 24. Come on. Is he 25? He just guessed that and he's got it wrong. No! 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 You can't win on the no! guess. <laughs> You can't win by Come guessing. on! Oh. That was a genuine it's guess. Giving you multiple choice. That was a genuine guess. These Slats not wins. Again. That <laughs> Slats wins. What oh. was it? Four two. What was it? Four two. Well, no, I haven't. Had, you haven't. I haven't asked. You haven't got to ask me the other question. No, I don't because you've already lost. If you've got to give me the same amount of questions. All right, four, fine. Look, if you okay, you know what I mean? fine, fine. But oh, this he's is going to guess. This is going to be even sweeter <sighs> if you get this wrong. Okay, here we go. It's actually quite similar to an earlier question of yours. Um, which three clubs were in our Europa League group this season? Not difficult. Korobag, Karabag, Korobag, whatever you want to call them, Monaco and Anderlecht. Correct, 4-3, victory is still sweet. The thing Come is I'll say about 4-3 Lift my arm in victory, lift my arm in victory. Lift my arm in victory, 1-0 to Slats. He's one on a guess. 
So what you I guys should have done... Guess it. it was educated. Did you see me working oh, it out? Tom you know Carroll, 28, you know what, Ericsson, 23. Sporting Lisbon was such an obvious answer Sporting as well. Lisbon. Guys, let us know what you thought of those questions in the comments oh, section below. Like give, us some, um, give us some more challenges that we should do in Smithy versus Slats in future weeks. We're going to do that. a penalty shootout, which I'm looking forward to very much. Yeah, I'll beat you on that one. One nil to Slats is the most important thing. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. You should follow us on Twitter, at Spurred on TV. And come on, you Spurs. Hi guys, Barnaby for Spurred on. I'm here with another match preview battle this week for the Liverpool away game. It is Craig Mitch with the squeaky chair. Hi, Craig. Hi, our squeaky chair. It's <laughs> yeah, me. It's